Welcome to video number two in our Kipri T series. Here we're going to demonstrate a little bit about the, the power of the cycles and uh, options that are available to you uh, to cycles. Uh, the first thing, this is the tree where all the cycles are loaded. So uh, basically the way the programming works is you want to create each little piece of the program. Uh, so in the part that we had here from video number one, uh, we created the roughing and finishing toolpath to do the contour. Uh, next thing that we would want to do is do this groove. Uh, then if there's a thread here, we would want to do the threading cycle. And each one of those cycles would be uh, a little piece of the program that would get added to the tree. And let's show you what you can do with some of those cycles. We've already showed you how you can recall a cycle and make any change to the cycle. But you can also recall a cycle from disk. Uh, so maybe I created a cycle uh, a week ago or a month ago, uh, and I have a similar shape that I want to bring back. I could just go back in the disk, uh, select a cycle that I've created, double click it, and it comes right back in the conversational screen with all the inputs that I put in when I created the cycle. I can go through and make any change that I want to the cycle uh, and then I can hit the create program which will recreate the program with the new changes. Again, so any cycle in the tree I can either double click it or hit the pencil icon bring it right back into the conversational screen with all my inputs I can make any changes that I want to make uh, and recreate the program. In the simple turning or boring menus, uh, you can bring back any of these elements. Let's say uh, we're going to bring back this element. We want to take this corner from a 100 to an 075, save edits, recreate the program, and it's done. We've made a complete change for that corner radius. Uh, very easy to do. Uh, the other things that we can do with the cycles is we can look at the G-code. Uh, so if we take our OD turning menu, look at the G-code, uh, here's the G-code that actually is created from that cycle. You can see that we've got the roughing and then we've got the finishing in here as well. If I bring this back and tell it that I want to do rough turning, finish turning, and I want a can cycle program, done. Take a look at the G-code. You can see now that I have a double line can cycle, which is what I have my software set up with uh, for my Fanuc output uh, to rough the part and then my longhand G-code to finish the part. The other thing we can do is reorder cycles. Uh, if you want to put these cycles in a specific order and they're not when you create the pieces of the program, you can always re reorder them. Uh, we can copy them, which I'll show you in a minute, and then uh, we can remove cycles. So if I remove this cycle, it doesn't remove it from the disk, it just removes it from the pieces of the program uh, that I'm creating here. Now what I want to do is I want to take this OD turning program and I want to make, split it up into a turning a roughing program and a turning finishing program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it and copy it. And I'm going to call it OD turning finish. And that's it. Now I have two identical cycles here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this one back in. I'm going to turn off the finishing and I'm going to create a longhand G-code program. Then I'm going to open up the finishing and I'm going to turn off the roughing and I'm going to create a longhand G-code program. So now I have two programs. I took one cycle, copied it, and then I went in and altered it and now I, have a, I can have a rough tool and a finish tool to be able to do these cycles. So cycles are very, uh, very easy to use, very easy to bring back. Uh, not always do you have to create a cycle from scratch because you can go back and you can grab a similar shape that you've done at uh, another time, bring it back in, double click it and bring it right back to the conversational screen to edit it. So cycles are very easy and basically what happens with the cycles is you're building the pieces of the program and then in the end we'll use our main program feature to uh, link them all together with tool calls, make one program that we can send to the machine. In video number three, we're going to add some other cycles to the part. Uh, we're going to add the grooving, and then we're also going to add the threading for the part. So we'll see you in video number three.